Stevens, Brianna O'Donnell, Nate Calvert, and Bethany Shimkus as Mouse Deer. Presenting the Adventures of Mouse Deer. Written by Aaron Shepard. <laughs> Today we're going to tell you three stories about Mouse Deer. Did, Did you, you say, say Mouse Deer? Deer? That's right. I never heard of a Mouse Deer. Did you? Not me. She's a real animal in the jungles of Asia and Africa. And what, what does she look like? Well, her tail and legs look like a deer's. Well, all right. But her face and body look like a mouse's. You're <laughs> tricking us. Mouse deer eats only plants, but lots of animals eat mouse deer. To stay alive, she has to be quick and smart. She's also got to be tricky, just like Br'er Rabbit. Mouse deer even play some of the same tricks. You know what I think? I think you're the tricky one. Me too. That's right. No, I'm not. There are lots of stories about mouse deer. And I bet you want us to believe they're true. Of course they are. All stories are true, even if they didn't really happen. Huh? Mouse deer even has her own say. I'm quick and smart as I can be. Try and try, but you can't catch me. In our first story, mouse deer meets one of her most dangerous enemies. This story is called Mouse Deer and, and Tiger. Musty was looking for tasty fruits and roots and shoots. Though she was small, she was not afraid. She knew that many of the animals wanted to eat her, but first they had to catch her. Then she heard something. <laughs> Mouse pointed at the mud puddle. It has the best taste in the world. The king doesn't want anyone else to eat it. Tiger looked longingly at the puddle. <laughs> I would like to taste the king's pudding. Oh, no, Tiger. The king would be very angry. Just one little taste, Mouse dear. The king will never know. Well, <laughs> all right, Tiger. But first, let me run. Far away, so no one will blame me. All right, Mouse, you can go now. Mouse Deer read quickly out of sight. Imagine the king's pudding. He took a big mouthful. <laughs> he spit it out! <clears throat> that's no pudding, that's mud! <laughs> Tiger ran through the forest. He caught up with Mouse Deer. <laughs> Mouse Deer, you tricked me once, but now you will be my lunch. Mouse Deer looked around and thought fast. She saw a wasp nest. Tree. I'm sorry, Tiger. I can't be your lunch. The king has ordered me to guard his drum. His drum? Yes! There it is! <laughs> Master pointed to the wasp nest. It has the best sound in the world. The king doesn't want anyone else to hit it. I would like to hit the king's drum. Oh, no, Tiger. The king would be very angry. Just one little hit, Mouse Deer. The king will never know. Well, all right, Tiger. But first, let me run far away so no one will blame me. All right, Mouse Deer, you can go now. Mouse Deer ran quickly out of sight. Imagine the king's drop. He reached up and hit. The wasps saw flew out. They started to sting Tiger. That's no troll! That's a wasp nest! Tiger came to a stream. He jumped in, splash, and stayed underwater as long as he could. At last, the wasps went away. Then Tiger jumped out. He, he ran, ran through the forest, forest to leave out Mouse Deer. Mouse Deer? Ah! You tricked me once. Tricked me twice. But now, you will be my lunch. Mouse Deer looked around and thought fast. Ooh. She saw a cobra. I'm sorry, Tiger. Ooh. I can't be your lunch. The king has ordered me to guard his belt. His belt? Yes, there it is. It's the best belt in the world. The king doesn't want anyone else to wear it. I would like to wear the king's belt. Oh, no, Tiger! <laughs> the king would be very angry! Just for one moment, Mouse 
Alistair. The king will never know. Wow. Well, <laughs> all right, Tiger. But first, let me run far away so no one will blame me. All right, Mouse dear, you can go now. Mouse dear, we're quickly out of sight. Imagine the king's belt. He started to wrap it around himself. The cobra woke up. Let's go, Mouse. Let the cobra. The master was far away. I'm quick and smart as I can be. Try and try, but you can't catch me. In our second story, Mouse Deer meets one of her most dangerous enemies. This story is called Mouse Deer and Crocodile. <laughs> one day, Mouse Deer went down to the river. She wanted to take a drink. But she knew Crocodile might be waiting underwater to meet her. Mouse Deer had an idea. She said out loud. I wonder if the water's warm. I'll put my leg in and find out. Wait a minute! <sighs> Mouse Deer said she put in her leg? What a dumb idea! <laughs> but Mouse Deer did put in her leg. Instead, she picked up a stick and put the end in the water. Chomp! <laughs> Mouse Deer laughed. <laughs> Stupid crocodile! Don't you know a stick from a leg? And she ran off to drink somewhere else. Another day, Mouse Deer wanted to cross the river. She wanted to eat tasty fruits. Fruits and shoots on the other side. But she didn't want Crocodile to eat her first. Master had an idea. She called out. Crocodile! I don't believe it. Master oh. called for Crocodile. How dumb can she get? But then Crocodile rose from the water. Hello, Mouse dear. Have you come to be my breakfast? <laughs> Not today, Crocodile. I have orders from the king. He wants me to count all the crocodiles. Oh, the king, oh, tell us what to do. You must line up from this side of the river to the other side. Crocodile got all his friends and family. They lined up across the river. One, two, three. Uh, how many are there? Just enough and all stupid. <laughs> then she went off singing her song. I'm quick and smart as I can be. Try and try, but you can't catch me. In our last story, Mouse meets her most dangerous enemy of all. Can you guess who it is? Cobra. No. Lion. <laughs> no. Tyrannosaurus. No. This story is called Mouse Deer and Farmer. <laughs> <laughs> She started into the garden. Snap! Oh, her leg was caught in a snare! Master pulled and pulled! But she did not get away! Oh no! Farmer will have me for dinner! Then she saw Farmer coming. Master thought best. She lay on the ground and made her bunnies stiff. <laughs> well, well, well. Look at what I caught! A mouse deer! But she looks dead. Farmer <laughs> her with his foot. Maybe she's been dead a long time. Too bad. I guess we can't eat her. Farmer pulled Mouse Deer's leg out of the snare. Then he tossed her back into the forest. One, two, three. Mouse Deer landed with a soft pop. Then she jumped up and ran. Hey, you tricked me! Mouse Deer laughed. Farmer is smart, but Mouse Deer is smarter. One day, Mouse Deer went back to the edge of the forest. Then. She saw something new. A scarecrow? That silly farmer. Does he think he can scare me with that? I'll show him how scared I am. Mouse Deer marched up to the scarecrow. She gave it a big push. Take this. But her flat leg stuck to the scarecrow. The scarecrow was covered with sticky sap from a rubber tree. Let me go. She pulled, and then she pushed with her other front leg. That leg stuck too. Turn me loose. She pulled. And she pulled. Then she pushed with her two back legs. They stuck too. <laughs> Put me down. But Mouse Ear was trapped. Then she saw Farmer coming. Mouse Ear, hot fast. But she didn't have any ideas. Well, well, well. How nice of you to come back. Farmer pulled Mouse Ear off the scarecrow and carried her back to the house. Outside chicken. I'll keep you here tonight. And tomorrow? <laughs> You'll be my dinner. Mm. All that night, Master couldn't sleep. 
She didn't want to be dinner. When the sun rose, Mouser just lay there sadly. Then she heard something. Ow! Oh, laughing is a mouse dinner. So Father caught you at last. Serves you right. It was Farmer's dog. Oh. Mouser thought that. <laughs> Oh well, 